are you looking to get a jump sport rebounder? And they're like, what the heck? How do I know which one to pick? There are so many different models. I'm here to help. I have three of the main different ones so I can go over all of them, give you my honest thoughts and shorten all of the important information so you can make your decision real quick. If you're like, who the heck are you? Why should I trust your opinion? My name is Sydney and I am a rebounding fitness instructor. I have been since I was 18 years old. So for so many years now, I have tried over at least 15 different brands of rebounders. I have 10 in my house right now, just splattered all over the place. So I have tried so many different ones so I can tell you the difference, what to look for, what's best for you. I also have my own business where I have an app filled with over 300 fun mini trampoline workouts. I'm just passionate about helping you fall in love with fitness. And for me personally, the thing that changed the game for me was mini trampoline workouts because seriously, what's more fun than jumping on a trampoline to the beat of the music to get in shape. But first, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Your support means the world. First things first, should you even look into jump sport? Is it worth investing your money? Heck yeah. Definitely. They are such an amazing company. They provide the most beautiful rebounders and so many different ones for different price points, but they make sure that it's the highest quality possible for that price point. They also have the most amazing team working behind them. So I know customer service is so important. So that box is checked off as well. So definitely, definitely, if you're looking at Jumpsport, you're on the right track. So which model should you get? If you're like me and you are a classic overthinker, it's not that confusing. I promise you there's not that many things to think about. I know it seems like there's a lot of different things, but really if you get any of them, you can't go wrong. They're all so beautiful, high quality. First things first, I have the 350 Pro here. I have the 570 Pro and the 550F Pro model. So between all of these, I'm gonna just take a second to show you the price points of all of them. I know price is a huge factor when deciding, so that is why this one is one of the most popular ones because you get really high quality for that price point. Whereas with these ones, they're a little more expensive. The next thing that a lot of people worry about with the rebounding purchase is size. This is 39 inches and both of these are 44 inches. Jumpsport recommends that if you're over six feet, then maybe you can think about the 44 inches because that extra space would maybe benefit you. But the 39 inches, some people think this is really small, but honestly, you get used to whatever size you have. 39 inches is very comfortable. I used to only jump on 55 inches and then I worked my way down to 44 inches and then 39 inches. It wasn't an adjustment period at all. You just really get comfortable with it. You really don't need that much space to jump. It's not like you have a trampoline outside in your backyard. This is just for you, just moving side to side, front and back, jumping jacks. You have all those size, you have all the space you need with 39 inches. But if you're looking for extra, that's why it's amazing that they have these options. But just from personal experiences, I used to think that I needed a bigger space. And now after like three years, I'm realizing that's not true. Another thing to consider with space is how much space you have in your house for the rebounder. As you can see, there's not too big of a difference. So if this is the one you have, it's not gonna take up that much extra space, but you could just get a tape measure and measure it out and see. Another thing that a lot of people want is a foldable rebounder. So this one here folds, I'll flip it over and show you. So the only difference is you see this hinge here. So if you wanna fold it, what you have to do is take off the legs. As you can see, you can just screw them off. So you take off the legs and then they recommend taking off every other bungee and then you fold it shut. I've tried folding it without taking off every other bungee and it's still really easy to do because you don't wanna to have to take the legs off every other bungee to fold it every time because honestly, when will you ever pull your rebounder out if that's the case? Again, the fact that you even have to take off the legs to fold it seems like a pain. And I think fitness should just all be about like ease and convenience. So. If you need folded, this is definitely the most high quality foldable rebounder you could get. But if it's not something you're looking for, I would just get any of these because as you can see, you can just put them off to the side. They're really light and easy to move and you could just put it by the wall and it really doesn't take up that much space as you can see, right? Another thing is you could put it down. Like sometimes I sit here and it's like a coffee table or like a foot rest for me. Or if you have a dog, they love to sit on it. Another question a lot of people have is should I get a safety bar or a T-bar? That's funny because at the beginning I used to think, yes, I love safety bars because you could do some fun moves with it. It's also just nice to hold on to when you're doing stretches. Or if you're a beginner and feel really uncomfortable of the idea of jumping on one of these, then definitely get a T-bar safety bar because it's nice to hold on to and feel comfortable. When I got this one, it came with a safety bar and it just goes around the rebounder. I can show you a little clip, but I found that it got in the way, especially if you're doing high knees and stuff like that. But if you're a beginner, it's great. And another great thing about it is you can take it off once you feel you don't need it anymore. So if you're a beginner, get that safety bar. If you're not worried about it, don't get it because then it's easier to move off to the side and store. Whereas if you wanted to store it and move it off to its side, you have to take off that safety bar. 
And the most important thing now is bounce. So bounce is really important for the rebounder. Some people, if you're new, I get that why would you think about that? Because you wouldn't know that there's so many different types of bounces. But the firmer the bounce, the easier it is to adjust. Because if it's firm, it's just like you're on the floor, just with a little bit of extra return. But the thing with a firm bounce is it's not as low impact, and rebounding is supposed to be a low impact exercise. Jump sport is definitely low impact because it's high quality, so even if their firm bounce will be low impact. If you get one off of Amazon, this bounce can sometimes be so firm that you pretty much feel like you're jumping on the floor. And that's okay, because you know floor workouts are still workouts that people do. Can't believe they still exist, but you know. <laughs> and then your joints just might hurt if you're not careful with the pounding of it. But the coolest thing about jump sport is, look, you can adjust the bungees. So I can show you all of these have this. Some of their models don't, but the reason that I like the Pro is because you have this. So as you can see here, all you have to do is pull this down and put it on the further knot to get that firmness. So they're all the same here. So that's really cool. So if you're like, I don't know what bounce I want, do I want soft, do I want hard? If you have a softer bounce, sorry, I forgot to mention, softer is just a little harder of a workout because since you're getting more of that return, you have to engage more muscles and to stay to the beat and stuff like that, you just gotta get lower. So it's just a little higher intensity, also lower impact. But you don't have to worry about that with a jump sport because you can adjust it. You could start with firm and then you're like, ooh, I wanna make it harder, bring it softer, and you can play around with it. Or if you're sharing it with a partner and they're heavier and they want a firmer bounce, you can adjust it like that. So all of these have that adjustable bounce. Another great thing about all of these is they have that arch leg. So arch leg really helps with the stability of the rebounder. So when you're going side to side, it's not moving with you, it's nice and firm. Now what we are going to go over is the difference between them. So I'm pretty much like any of them are great and I do believe that if you just want the lower price point, get the 350 Pro, call it a day. But I'll also show you what it's like standing on them so you can see the difference. But the difference between the two, so these are both, the two in the back are the 500 series, whereas this is the 300 series. So there's a couple differences between them. If you go on the buying guide on the Jump Sport website, it goes over it all, but I'll summarize it for you right here so you don't have to do that research. So number one, as we talked about, is size. 39 inches, 44 inches, 44 inches. When I jump on all of these, this one definitely starts off firmer. These two I've had though for months now, whereas this is a newer one. So the more you have it, the softer the bounce gets as well. But these ones are just a little softer. And this one's a little more firm, but you can still make it that softer bounce as you saw with the adjustable. So again, the main difference here, 39 inches versus 44 inches. Quickly too, just so you can see me moving side to side, front and back, scissors here. If you're like, oh my God, she's gonna fall off. No worries. Okay. This one's weight limit is 275 pounds, whereas these ones are 325 pounds. And the last difference between the 500 Pro Series versus the 300 Pro is that this one is built to last a little bit more. So they like to tell you the amount of jumps. Like I think this one is like 400,000 jumps, where these ones give you an extra 130,000 jumps compared to this one. But if you're looking for quality and you get a jump sport, no worries, they're built to last. You don't have to worry about it breaking down really soon. Those are pretty much the main difference between the three. The other thing with rebounders wearing down is sometimes like the bungees will rip. That hasn't happened with me once for a jump sport. It happened with me for other brands, but it's no big deal. You just get bungees and you replace them. The other cool thing about jump sport is you can get colored bungees. I have some blue ones downstairs. They gave them to me when I was about to get married for something blue. See what I mean about customer service. But all you can do is adjust the bungees, which is fun. So you can add some like different color, make it your own kind of style. But that is the difference. So I know I wasn't like, you need this one. Don't get this one because honestly, you can get any of them. They're so amazing. I really, really believe in the company. I've tried them, I jumped on them all for a period of time and I truly love them and don't think you can go wrong. I also know they're a little higher than the ones off of Amazon, but that is for a reason. It is because they are so high quality. They're built to last. They're built to keep your joints safe, to give you all of the benefits of rebounding. Uh, the thing with the Amazons that they have screw on legs so they can fall. Sometimes they break. You have to tighten them frequently. They don't have that curved leg so they move side to side. Uh, you can feel they're really wobbly, whereas again, these are quality 
a lot of people who have studios buy these ones because they're so good. So it's like having a studio quality rebounder in your home. So any of these, I highly recommend. Make sure you use my promo code at checkout. I'll put it right here. I like get a little bit of a commission and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. I hope this helped. Also, if you need a link, just click the link below. I'll link all of the different ones that I've talked about here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If there's something specific I didn't cover, let me know. But good luck with your rebounding buying journey. I can't wait for you to get one. It is seriously the most fun workout. I've been doing it for years now. I'm still obsessed day to day. I'm not bored of them. I don't think you can get bored of them. But thank you so much for being here with me. I can't wait to see you in the next video.